so central limit theorem so if uh, i will define what is theorem if x1 x2 etc xn are independently are independent and identically distributed random variable <laughs> distributed random variable with <coughs> identi independent and identically distributed random variable with mean mean that means expectation of xi is equal to mu and variance of xi is equal to sigma square for i equal to 1 2 etc up to n that means for each xi uh, x1 x2 etc xn expectation is mu and variance is sigma square then then this sum of random variables x1 uh, I, I will denote sn sn is equal to x1 plus x2 plus etc plus xn follows normal distribution with the mean n mu n into mu and standard deviation n sigma uh, and variance n sigma square mean n mu and variance or standard deviation root n sigma okay so therefore we know that if sn follows normal distribution we know that zn is equal to sn minus n mu mu that is mean divided by standard deviation Uh, root n sigma follows normal zero so it it uh, follows normal distribution okay now uh, okay so uh, there is a corollary corollary if uh, x1, x2, etc., xn are IAD random variable. IAD random variable means independent and identically distributed random variable with the mean E of xi is equal to mu and variance V of xi is equal to uh, sigma square then the sample mean then the sample mean x bar we denote x bar is equal to sn divided by n that is equal to x1 plus x2 plus etc plus xn divided by n follows normal mu sigma by root n. normal mu by sigma by root n. so x bar follows normal mu sigma by root n. then we can denote z x bar minus mu by sigma by root n follows normal zero one normal zero one okay so okay so this is the uh, so x bar follows normal 0 1 and sn follows normal sorry x bar follows normal mu sigma by root n and uh, sn follows normal mu n mu n sigma square okay so now first we will do a problem let x1 x2 etc up to x75 are independent 
identically distributed and variable with the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda equal to 1. So we have to estimate by using central limit theorem P of uh, 120 the standard equal to S75 the standard equal to 160 where S75 is X1 plus X2 plus etc. etc. So here given uh, Poisson distribution with the parameter the lambda is equal to 2 we know that for, for Poisson distribution uh, mean and variance is equal to we know that mean equal to variance of Poisson distribution are same and it's equal to lambda here it is so mean and uh, mean and variance are two. Okay. So now we have x uh, s n is equal to x one plus x two plus etc plus x75 that is n equal to 75 this follows normal n mu n sigma root n sigma n mu root n sigma standard deviation root n sigma so that is normal n mu n is 75 into 2 150 1 50 and uh, uh, root and root of n seventy five into sigma sigma is root two. So, 75 into root 2. Okay. So, therefore, we have Zn. We can convert it into normal form. Uh, minus N mu. That is 150 divided by root 150 follows normal 0. Now, what we have to do is, we have to calculate P of 120 less than or equal to S75 less than or equal to, so here S75, which is equal to P of 120 minus 150 divided by root 150 less than or equal to s 75 minus n mu by sigma root n less than or equal to so this is actually z 160 minus 150 divided by root 150. So this is equal to okay I'll calculate uh, 120 minus thirty into okay, so minus thirty minus thirty divided by uh, square root of 150 uh, so, so from the calculator square root of 150 
getting the uh, answer is yo minus 30 by square root of 150 so from the calculator okay i will uh, check it from In the calculator. Can you calculate that minus 30? Anybody? Minus 30 divided by root 150. I think it's uh, I think it's uh, PO. Two point minus two point four five less than or equal to Z then less than or equal to ten ten divided by root one fifty zero point eight two. So this is equal to we have something minus two point four five zero point eight two. So this is the quantity area we have to find from normal table. So this is actually equal to P of Z then less than or equal to zero point eight two minus P of Z less than or equal to minus two point four five. So from a normal table, okay, normal table, table So we will get 2.45, right? Minus 2.45, minus 2.45, 0 0.0071, minus 0 0.0071, 0 0.8. So P of 0 0.8. 82 this 0 0.7939 so the answer is we will calculate this 0 0.7939 Minus zero point zero zero seven one. So the answer is zero point seven eight six eight. So this is the answer. Okay. So can you do this problem? A random sample of say 200 is taken from a population whose mean is 50 and variance is 600 using central limit theorem find the probability that mean of the sample x bar will not differ from mean 50 by more than 5 the solution uh, anybody can you try this so we have given sample says n equal to 200 and mean of each sample is mu equal to 50 sigma standard deviation is root 600 we have to cal calculate so sam mean of sample x bar so we know that x bar is equal to 
for x bar follows normal mu 50 divided by uh, sigma by root n. So that is root 600 divided by root 50. So we know that x bar follows normal mu sigma by root n. Now, yes. now we have to calculate the probability that P of mean will not differ from 50 sample mean that is modulus of x bar minus mu will not differ from mu that is is less than or equal to 50 sorry equal to 5 this we have to calculate that means sample mean and uh, population mean as a uh, uh, differ will not differ by 5 that means their difference is always less than or equal to 5. So, this we have to calculate. So, now we have z equal to x bar minus 50 by root 600 by 50 follows normal 0, 1. Now, which implies I will calculate this p of we know that mod x less than a implies minus a less than x less than a. So here it is minus phi less than x minus mu. Mu is 50. Bar minus mu 50. So this is equal to p of minus. Uh, okay. So, I want to make it uh, Zn. So, I will divide it by root 600 by 50 Z phi by root 600 by 50. So, that I will get uh, x bar minus 50 divided by root 6 follows normal. Okay. Now, we have to calculate what is root 600 by 50. Root of 600 divided by 50. Root of 600 divided by 50 is probability of minus 5 divided by 3.46 that less than or equal to 5 by 3.46 is equal to 5 divided by 3.46 probability of minus 1.44 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 1.44 equal to p of Z less than or equal to 1.44 minus P of Z less than or equal to minus 1.44. So, we will calculate here 1.44. Z less than or equal to 1.44 is 0 0.9251. 0 0.9251. 0 0.9251. Minus 
now minus 0 0.0 okay so minus 1.44 0 0.0749 0 0.0749 0 0.0749 so now if we calculate this we will get the answer as 0 0.9251 minus 0 0.0749 we get 0 0.8502 so this is the probability now I will give you a question as an homework. I will share it in your WhatsApp group and please try to do this problem. And tomorrow we will start the next module. Okay, so Try to do this problem and if you have any doubt, uh, please ask me. Okay, so, I have shared that video in your WhatsApp. So, anybody have any doubt? So, this is what I, all about the uh, central limit there. It's very easy and there must have one question for your examination. There will be. Anybody have any doubt? 